Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Research Design Build, the channel where uh, now we seem to be doing a little bit of everything. In today's episode, we're going to be motorizing a hand meat grinder. So the first thing to do in this project was to find an acceptable motor. Now, electric motors usually come in two different RPMs, uh, 3600 or 1800 RPM. So for this application, really what you're looking for is an 1800 RPM motor. So once I'd found one of those, then I could start working on the gear ratio. So all the pulleys and bearing blocks, uh, as well as the V-belts are all purchased at Princess Auto or Harbor Freight for you guys in the US. As far as gear reduction, I was looking to get the final drive down to about 160 RPM or so. So what I did there was that it basically was from a two inch pulley to a four inch pulley on that uh, center bearing block, then back to another two inch pulley, which goes up to the nine and three quarter inch pulley. So that overall gear reduction goes from about 1750 RPM is what I measured at the electric motor, uh, all the way down to 160 RPM as the final drive for the meat grinder. Now here's a couple detailed shots of the tensioning mechanism at the meat grinder. So there's a basic four inch hinge and then two six millimeter bolts that go through some threaded inserts. And as you tighten those, then that hinges up and that causes more tension to be added to the second V-belt. So the entire base is made up of scrap three quarter inch plywood that I had kicking around. And again, the base here, I just cut out so that there's some handholds for when you pick it up when you're moving it around. And also so that all those threaded inserts that I used for the motor and for the bearing blocks and for the meat grinder itself are not uh, gonna be rubbing along the uh, counter or whatever you put the meat grinder down on. Now the tensioning bolts for the meat grinder do screw down onto the steel tube and that just allows it to not dent into the wood and uh, gives it a secure base so that the tension remains consistent. Now this is an old electric motor that we were repurposing and as such uh, the cover for the electricals was missing so I uh, quickly came up with a little uh, design and 3D printed one so we had that protection there. Now to secure the motor there are four M8 inserts and four M8 bolts. Now uh, by loosening those off you can move the motor around and adjust the tension for that first drive belt. So one drawback to using the hinge as a tensioning mechanism is there's a little, little bit of play in it and uh, so I had to add some washers and sort of tilt the meat grinder up on an angle so that when you did get tension on it that it was uh, sitting as flat and straight as possible. Now there still is a little bit of wobble in the pulley on the meat grinder. For the life of me I could not uh, get this to run true but uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes with these uh, rough castings. So once I get this built, I was a little concerned from a safety perspective and so started building this guard. What I ended up coming up with was cutting some pine, uh, three quarter inch by three quarter, inch uh, strips and that is what I used as blocking uh, in the corners to then attach the uh, 1 8 plywood uh, outside panels to. And it worked out quite well, uh, very happy with the results. It's a one piece guard that just slides over top of and covers everything up as you can see here. Now with that wobble there is a little bit of rubbing that uh, takes place but uh, nothing that is unmanageable. I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a like and subscribe if you have any comments or questions. I know it's a pretty short uh, video on the meat grinder, but if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll make sure to get back to you.